So I recently got a comment from someone and they were wondering how they can add data from one Blender file into another Blender file. And I know there have been other people who have asked me about this before in the comments of my videos, so I thought this might be a helpful video to make. So for instance, maybe you've created a 3D model in a separate Blender file, and then you want to add it into a larger scene, or maybe you've created some sort of procedural material in a separate Blender file, but then you want to add that onto your object, which is in a different file. And I will also show you how to import 3D models from a different 3D format, for instance, like an OBJ file or an FBX file into your Blender file. So first let's go over how to append data. So I have this very simple scene here, and I want to add some low poly trees into this file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on file and then I'm going to go right down here and click on the append button. And when you do that Blender's file browser appears and you can just locate to the folder where you have the other Blender file. So here it is, the low poly trees. These low poly trees are from a tutorial that I created a little while ago. Links in the description if you'd like to check them out. And they're also available for purchase on my Gumroad store. So I'm going to double click on the low poly trees Blender file. And when you do that, it's going to go in inside the Blender file and it's going to show you the different data that you can add. I'm going to be adding the objects so I'm going to click here on object and then you can see here are all the different objects. So you can just choose one of the objects by clicking on it and then clicking on the append button. I'm going to double tap the A key to make sure they're all selected and then I'm going to click on the append button. And as you can see it's taken these low poly tree models and it's imported them into our current Blender file. And then you can just edit the objects or do whatever you want to them. And as well as adding in the 3D model it's also added in the materials that were on the 3D model. Now, let's say you don't want to add a 3D model. Let's say you just want to add a material. So I'm just going to press Shift A and I'm just going to add like an icosphere. And so I just want to add one of my procedural materials onto this object. So what I'm going to do is just click on File. And then again, I'm going to click on Append. And when you do that, again, Blender's file browser is going to appear. And this time I'm going to go into my Blender procedural material pack number seven. Links in the description if you'd like to check out that procedural material pack. Now, when I go inside this Blender file, I could just go to the object one and then I could add the dirty metal, the procedural dirty metal. But this is going to add the object and I don't really need to add the object. All I want to do is add the material. So I'm going to click on this arrow to go back up one folder and I can instead just go into the material. So when I go into the material, it's just going to show me all the different materials. And then I want to select the procedural dirty metal and then click on append. So when I do that, it hasn't added it onto anything. And that's just because I need to select this object and I can click on the drop down and then I can add the procedural dirty metal. And there we go. So now I've appended this material into this Blender file. But maybe you're not working with a Blender file. Maybe you want to import some data from like a .obj file or a .fbx file. Those are other 3D model formats. So if you click on file and then click on append, it's actually not going to work with other 3D formats. The append feature only works with other Blender files. So if you want to import data from a different 3D format, you're going to need to click on file and then you're going to go right down here to import and then it's going to ask you what 3D format you want to import. So some common ones are like the FBX, .FBX, there's also the .obj and there's a bunch more here. I'm going to import an FBX file, so I'm going to click on FBX. And again, Blender's file browser is going to appear, and then you can just locate to wherever you have the FBX file. So here is a low poly train 3D model that I created a while ago. Again, links in the description if you'd like to check out this train 3D model on Sketchfab. So I'm just going to click on this. You can just double click on it, or you can click on it and then click on import FBX. And when you do that, now you can see that it's added in the train 3D model. And you can see that it's also imported the materials as well. So that is very cool. Now there is one more way to do this instead of appending or importing data, what you can do instead is you can use Blender's Asset Browser. So I have two tutorials already on how to use Blender's Asset Browser. So if you'd like to check out those tutorials, I'll have the link in the description and also a card right up there on the screen. So once you set up Blender's Asset Browser with certain assets, what you can do is you can just click and drag and split the window, and then you can click on the editor type, and I'm just gonna change this to the Asset Browser. Now the Asset Browser works with many different things. So if you click 
click right here, you can see I have different HDRIs. So if I want to change the lighting, I could just drag and drop the different HDRIs and that's going to change the lighting. Um, I could also go to like textures here and I have some different uh, materials. And these are all different things that I've set up using the asset browser. I also have procedural materials. These are all the different procedural materials that I create. And I also have some 3D models and I also have the low poly nature. So with the low poly nature assets, instead of clicking on file and append, I can just set up these low poly nature assets in the asset browser. And then what I can do is I can just click and drag and I can drop these into any Blender file. And you can see it's going to just add it in there wherever you drag it. So the asset browser is an amazing feature of Blender. And again, if you'd like to watch the tutorial on how to use Blender's asset browser, then I have two tutorials and the links in the description if you'd like to check out those tutorials. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to help support me and this channel, then I will have links in the description to my Gumroad store and my Patreon page and the YouTube memberships. Those are all great ways to help support me and this channel. But I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching.